All right, so the mod that we'll be covering in today's video is called the Remnants of Life mod. A shout out to Enoch Berger. I don't, I, don't know, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I hope I am. If I'm not, I apologize. Thank you for recommending me this mod. And with that, let's get into all the features of this mod. All right, so this mod essentially acts as like a mini DLC, especially with how much stuff it adds. So one of the first things it adds, it adds to your game is going to be a bunch of new resources and recipes. So if we see, yeah, there we go. So we have enzyme charged, ion batteries, which require hatching and hatching enzymes okay enzyme charge ion power cells we got the deep battery made from deep shrooms deep power cells made from deep batteries and whatnot got the quantum batteries which require mercury ore and magnesium and uranium all three are new resources and we got the quantum power cell here so some new resources and new recipes is there anything else that got changed in here oh okay we also have the enoch burger that's the name of the dude i shouted out what the heck so we got the enoch burger we have the purified water and mercury purification tablet that's also new they got purified protein. I don't even, I don't even want to know what that tastes like. Herbivores delight. Oh, okay. We also have a nuclear decomposer. Burst down alien resources and see uranium. Now that sounds super useful. Oh, what is that? Is that it? Oh, there it is. Okay, so back of the aurora is where you're going to be able to find this mercury ore, as we can see right here. Oh, dang, it's all over the place. What the heck? And I believe mercury ore used to be in the game, like in the pre-release stuff for Subnautica, but they took it out because it didn't really have like a use or anything. So that's that's kind of neat how they um, took an unused asset from the Subnautica, like the base game for Subnautica and made it used into another mod. So that's nice. So uranium, you can only get from the nuclear composer, which you have to put the ion crystal matrix in. And then you get the ion crystal matrix from the new precursor bases that this mod added. And then magnesium, I believe you have to make yeah, you have to make that. So actually, so mercury and the iron crystal matrix are the only two things that you that you can actually go out in the world and find. This mod also adds some new bases around the map. So I already have one marked, just so I can show you a little example. So here's an example of one of these survivor bases that you can find around the map. This one's in the blood kelp zone. It's not in the same, like it's not in the same condition as the uh, Degasi bases that as we can see. It's still like sort of new looking because this mod actually has a little bit of story behind it. It sort of helps connect us with what the um, the people in the Degasi bases were doing and the survivors from the different life pods that you can find around the map. Shows kind of where they went and how they all met their end. This mod kind of expands on all that, which is pretty interesting to see. There are two of these bases around the map one in the blood cup zone and then one in another biome that i'm not going to disclose to you for you know so you can fully enjoy the mod without me telling you but there are two of these bases that you can find so that's that's pretty nice so like i said earlier there's multiple different degasi bases that you can find around the map because they added a few new ones and this is one of them so there's a degasi base now in the trico biome so yeah, this is one of the Degasi bases that this mod adds into the game, and there are two of these. There's one right here, and then one in another spot. So we covered the survivor bases, we covered the resources, we also covered the um, Degasi bases. So now we're gonna check out one of the new precursor bases that this mod added. And as we can see, we have now arrived at this new precursor base that is found in the Dunes biome. Pretty dangerous, also looks super awesome because it's giant and it's sort of like crashed in this biome. Ooh, there's some stuff over here as well. So we can see this giant precursor base. This is one of the three precursor bases that this mod adds into the game because there's three other ones and I believe this one you need a purple tablet to get in if I can figure out how to get inside. Let's head on into this precursor base. Yeah, you will need a purple tablet to actually get through this door because this door is going to be locked. We have technology, so we're just going to, you know, phase through the door. All right, let's look around, see what this precursor base has to offer. I don't know why I said it like that. Okay, and as we can see, this is our new, another new resource, the Ion Crystal Matrix. You can only find these, I believe you can only find these in the new precursor bases that spawn around the map. All right, so I'm not going to fully explore this precursor base just in case there's a lot more in it because again i'm not wanting to um spoil every little thing for the mod i want to show you all like a general idea of what this mod has to offer so this mod has a little bit more than what i'm actually showing you but i just want to give you all a nice little a little taste of the mod so we talked about it a little bit earlier but the new food items that this mod adds and i'm going to turn on my hunger let's see how much each of these gives us so the purified water bay it gives you 85 to your water. You're gonna be full on these things. Purified protein gives you 85. You can get full off these proteins. And we've got herbivore delight. Gives us a nice mix of both. We got 55 and 55. So two of these will fill you up all the way. And the Enoch Burger gives you 50 food. So all these food items are pretty, pretty strong, I would say. Especially that freaking herbivore's delight. Only two. All it takes is two of them to fill you up all the way. Purified protein really just takes one to fill you up, and then the purified water 
also just takes one. We are now in the new biome that this mod adds to the game, and this mod is this mod. So, this biome is called this biome is called the Void Steps biome, and is located like just on the border of the void. It's actually in the void, I think, because we can see these ghost items are spawning in. But we can see it adds some new little area to this part of the void. Turn that down, because you are gonna kill my eardrums. Oh wow, it's like a culmination of all the different plants, all in this one little part of the void that's nice i like that we got some bones down here that's pretty nice pretty nice oh we got some ruby deposits actually those aren't even in the base game okay so that adds this mod also adds the ruby deposits because i know for sure those aren't in the base game they are in below zero though but yeah this is the new biome that this mod will add into your game it's a part of the void so it is going to be something that you're going to have to visit a little later on in the game and you're going to also have to be a little quick about being here because the ghost of items will spawn in but yeah, this mod adds a ton of new stuff to your game, a bunch of precursor bases, survivor bases, Degasi bases, resources, all types of good stuff that you're going to want to play around with, and it'll give your game, again, some more replayability. Shout out again to Enoch Burger, the person who recommended me this mod on my last video, so I appreciate that, because otherwise I probably would have never seen this mod until like, I don't know, maybe like a year later or something. If you have any other mods that you want me to check out, feel free to let me know in the comments below so I can take a look at those, and then we can look at those in the next video. But other than that, that's about all I have for y'all. Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.